Och juryns motivering att tilldela Johnny Mitchell årets polarpris kommer att läsas av ledamot ur prisnämnden och till lika kapellmästaren Anders Berglund. Among women in rock music, taking that genre in the broad sense, Joni Mitchell is perhaps the most talented and versatile. In a long career of prolific and many-sided artistry, she has combined the roles of composer, lyric writer, vocal artist and musician with an impressive array of first instruments. In her breakthrough as a singer, which came in 1968 when she was living in New York, Joni Mitchell displayed, for instance, in albums like Clouds, the style of which was influenced by rock and deeply rooted in folk music, her early ideals of composition and arrangement. Melodic simplicity, economy of instrumentation, and subtlety in the use of electronic instruments. A brittle folk melody, however, was quickly to be superseded by a more forceful idiom in the boundary zone between jazz and rock. Inspired partly by her collaboration with guitarist and singer David Crosby, and later on with experimental musicians, especially from the West Coast. Her piano and guitar playing is set off by an instrumentation of gathering density, tinged, for example, by the addition of wind instruments. With Woodstock, which, if anything, is a hymn to the contemporary love and peace movement, she achieved total international recognition. In a remarkable partnership in 1979 with one of her great mentors, the legendary bass player Charlie Mingus, Joni Mitchell moves closer to jazz again, and her next LP, Mingus, gives proof of her astonishing capacity for transcending musical boundaries and, on that particular occasion, combining swing, modern jazz, and folk music with a dash of straight rock and roll. The list of players in itself illustrates the link between rock and jazz. Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter, Jacob Pastorius, and Peter Erskine. More recent, illuminating compositions like Chalk Mark in a Rainstorm, Night Ride Home, and the album Turbulent Indigo bear witness to an unfailing capacity for breaking new artistic ground. Yeah. 